All right, dudes. So today we are going to World's End State Park in Forksville, Pennsylvania. Uh, I got to run to Walmart really quick because I, I, I don't have a hiking bag. Um, and the, the video that's currently uploading uh, is an hour and 20 minutes long. It's going to take a long time to uh, uh, upload, basically. But in that, you'll see me pulling stuff out of my Yankees book bag. And that just wasn't big enough. I need something bigger. So hopefully Walmart's got something in their camping section that I can purchase for a decent price um, and throw some snacks and water in. And uh, hopefully it's got a spot for like a tripod and stuff. But I got one in my Amazon cart. It's like 40 bucks, but it's uh, significantly bigger than what Walmart sells. Uh, I know Walmart sells the Ozark Trail brand. Um, I've heard not such good things, but I need a bag and I need one today and Walmart's the closest and I don't have much cash on me right now. Uh, so we're gonna go to Walmart, so let's go. One of the not so joyous things about living in Pennsylvania is all the farming fields around you. And this time of year is when they spread the poop on the fields. So <laughs> wherever you go, it's really shitty smelling. Um, like right now, my nose hairs are kind of burnt because it smells like shit. Well, here we go. Let's find a bag. I hate Walmart because it's usually pretty packed. But we're going anyway. So here we are at Walmart. I don't know which one to get. I have too much black. My favorite color is gray. I like that. Not, don't really care for the blue. These ones are too small. I like the green, but I really like this gray one because it's got the pockets here. It's got a zip pocket on that side. It's got the inside here. Uh, it's pretty deep. It's got this outside pocket. The back is kind of padded and it's got the mesh for like uh, insulation. And it's got padded shoulder straps with a cross strap. I think that's the one we're gonna go with. I'm about ready to set my GPS and uh, we're gonna go have some fun. Right, guys this is an event center in New Albany Pennsylvania this is gonna host many concerts and stuff they're gonna bring some national acts to the area believe it or not what used to set right here was a bar called the Mountain House um, they have obviously since been torn down and again they're making it into a concert venue so I can't wait to see what happens with this place Again, New Albany, Pennsylvania. Don't know what it's going to be called, but it shall be awesome. I think it's safe to say we made it and it appears to be a beautiful place got picnic areas there's paths there's water water glorious water i'm gonna grab my bag grab my tripod 
and we are gonna walk some trails. I'm gonna show you some stuff. I've never been here before, folks, so like, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna show you something. Naturally, I walk to the other side of my car, and there's no, or the door's locked. So I'll walk back to the other side to unlock it, because there's no key, place to slide in your key and make it work, but yeah, here we go. So we're parked. I don't know where to start. So we're gonna walk this way. We're just gonna walk around. Um, and I think the trails are over there. Um, I think this is generally the picnic area, but I'll show you what's up. All right, visitor center is up that way. No alcoholic beverages. Park closes at sunset. Backpackers, please register at office. Okay, park office cabins up that way. I don't know exactly how you register, but uh, this little sign over here says, Cliff Pavilion. So we're gonna walk down this way. As you can see, plenty of spots to picnic. play area up there for the kids to play. Something tells me I'm in for a real treat today. Yeah. I get a I get a good feeling about today, my friends. I got picnic areas down in here by the water. You guys know I love the water, so. We're definitely gonna be getting some of the water. Wow. Bro, I feel like I'm in like a death valley or some shit like this. This is freaking gorgeous. Nature is truly freaking beautiful. Now I told you guys what naturally got me on this like nature boy kick. Uh, number one started off with Steve Wallace, the camper, the stealth camper. Um, then I started watching Luke and Susie on the outdoor gear review, watching their trips and stealth camping and, and hiking walks. Um, but also being outside, breathing this fresh air and just being out here by myself in the quiet, it's, uh, done good for this, as I've told you guys. I'll be honest, this is really not the, the path I wanted to take. Over across the bridge from where I parked, there is, there's other paths. There's uh, not as many people here today as I thought there'd be, which is good. Um, but we're gonna go down into this water. And, well, not in the water. We're gonna go down and 
get some shots of the water because I love freaking water. thing with walking around on here. Look at that. You'll find little cool things like that. We're not going to touch that. Somebody probably made that. So once in a while you'll find really awesome little rocks that are good keepsakes. Souvenirs from where you've been. Um, I don't think it's considered stealing. <laughs> I mean, take your pick. You got plenty. rock here and just kind of get a little video of the upstream had I brought a bottle I would have picked up some of this uh, sand here So I just noticed a pretty wicked little spot over here of more water. Go figure. <laughs> but uh, it it's awesome up here. I am very unhappy that I did not come here before. But this is just, it's awesome. It's really awesome to some people like myself kind of breathtaking you know so I do have a full battery and I'm really hoping that it lasts me long enough to completely go on this hike we're going to do. Like I said earlier, I only plan on being here for a couple hours. Um, but I think there's a lot to see that we're definitely not going to get in today. But we're going to do it. Or what we can at least. <laughs> If you watch other YouTubers, you'll realize that there's other um, supplies you should bring when you go on a hike. There's obviously a knife, matches, or a lighter. Um, sleeping bag, tent, travel light, basically. Um, bug spray, ticks, always bring water maybe some snacks in your bag wear the correct uh, footwear i don't wear the correct footwear because i don't have the correct footwear i have running sneakers that's all i got dudes so um but there are a plethora of other things go look on youtube you'll find many other channels that are different than mine similar but different kind of sorta the same but different <laughs> uh but yeah we're gonna check out this part of the creek down here then we're gonna head up so this is obviously where water runs out it's definitely warm today that's for sure 
I think maybe this long john shirt was a little bit too much. Now, there is a gentleman fishing up here. I don't want to go bother him, but I want to show you this part of the water. We are right by the bridge. There's some water over here. I kind of want to show you guys how it rolls. There's a lot of big rocks, not to twist your fucking ankles on. Where the folks fish. Calm, quiet. I think it's pretty awesome. They have plenty of rest areas. Attention, this beach is a clean air beach. Smoking is prohibited. No, oh, I was gonna try and read that, but it's Spanish. <laughs> Imagine me struggling with that one. So we're gonna take a walk up into other picnicking areas. I just kind of, excuse me, I just kind of want to show you guys everything that this place has to offer. It's it's really huge here. Um, and the only reason I know that is because I looked at an aerial map. Um, yeah, there's just more picnicking up here. There's fire pits, there's grills, there's just, all kinds of stuff up here. It's another pavilion up there. This is actually something I found quite interesting. It's these little stone fireplaces. pizza <laughs> I think that's how they're made anyway there's another one over there uh, that one doesn't appear to be as in good shape a little pavilion area for shading that looks like it used to be a sandbox for kids yeah that one's definitely older probably used a lot less maybe not even used at all but uh yeah, look at this view. We're gonna go down here. Check that out. You can even walk down onto this ledge here. I think this video is gonna end up being a lot longer than I anticipated. <laughs> That's all right. This is pretty cool. Another thing I explained in the last video that is still uploading is I really love how the earth kind of Listen to me, I'm sounding like I'm in a relationship with the world or the earth. <laughs> but I like, I don't know, I just like how it, the cracks and crevices and how the rocks look. And it's one thing you never tell is how old a rock really is. So, not 100% sure about the paths around here or where they're at. Um, I didn't explore that when I looked at the map. I just looked at how big the place actually is. Um, but it goes. There's another up in there. There's another 
rock oven. We're gonna stay right on this path if we can. All right. So, as you're hiking, you'll clearly run into other individuals. You say, hey, how you doing? You might ask how the path is, like I just did, and it sparks conversation. Um, told them what I was doing. Told them I had a YouTube channel. And uh, he said he was gonna look me up, check me out. I just hope my inappropriate comedy videos on there don't don't bother anybody <laughs> um but i've kind of moved past the comedy part i just it's not that you're you're too old for comedy sometimes you just got to move past some of the immaturity i always have a little bit of dark humor immature humor in my blood that's just the way i was raised you all would have a good time if you met my family but uh yeah, you meet some interesting people. It's almost time to stop for a water break because I am getting phlegmy and parched. Perfect to sit down on. You can clearly tell that I'm out of shape. This is a big 57 full ounce, one quart smart water bottle. Um, I know some people say all water tastes the same. No, it don't. Smart water and Fiji water have a clean taste to them. Aquafina tastes like pipes. Dasani's okay. It still has a taste to it, but uh, I recommend smart water or Fiji. Uh, I remember the first time I had Fiji water down in Florida when we were actually getting ready to swim with the dolphins oh my god I was I was freaking knocked down by how good that water tastes anyway cheers folks The other thing I wanted to mention that I completely forgot that I just thought about um, is when you're out hiking, it's always a good idea. Not necessarily here in PA, all we have is black bears, but still, if you get close to the young, I believe they can be quite protective. But it's always good to carry like a, a bear spray uh, because obviously it's it's like pepper spray to humans. It, it, it hurts, they'll run away. Um, so yeah that's always a good idea um hope i didn't forget anything flea and tick spray i think i or, yeah fleas tick spray uh is always a good thing i always keep my skin covered so it's not really an issue more to go huh I just realized my pack's been open the whole time <laughs> yeah well I'm gonna close her up here the other thing I do like about this bag is I noticed this front has a zipper too you can throw more stuff in here matches extra knife you know camping stuff so a good essential pack is a good idea i really like this it's cheap i got it from walmart as you guys saw this is 
outdoor products. I don't know if you guys can see that in that frame there, there, outdoor products. But, uh, I really like the cross strap and I like the fact that you can kind of tighten it by pulling down on this. Ooh, doggy. Look. Boy, hey. Here we go. One thing I'll say is it's very shady up through here. Walking on rocks, like I said in the last video that you'll see, is uh, hard on your ankles, but it's awesome because it provides some grip too. Stretching probably would have been a great idea. So, I just met some more really nice folks, elderly this time, out there getting in shape. Um, they told me about a mile, 1.3 miles up that way, you can walk down through, excuse me, and see some waterfalls. Um, not sure if we'll get to that today. We may, I don't know. Um, my main thing was to hike and do some trails. Again, some of these state parks are so huge, folks. Um, we're going to have to do a part two, even a part three. I know I keep going back to the Tioga State Forest, but that is huge. It's literally all over the county. Um, so, uh, yeah, but uh, we're going to keep trekking here. force of nature. Good golly, Miss Molly. I sure like the ball. <laughs> kind of plateaus off a little bit right here. So I'm going to show you some of the surroundings here. So one thing I should have done, and I kind of eat my own words here, is mosquito repellent. <laughs> I uh, should have known being around water, and with it being warmer, skeeters were going to come out. Um, it's not too terrible. They're not like biting at me, but where I was standing back there in the shade, they kind of, I 
hear them in my ears. That you know what kind of sound they make. Um, oh, perfect picture opportunity. They got to look out here. Freaking wow. So you guys ready for this? Yeah, buddy. Look at that. That's the bridge. Right, 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 right there. <laughs> that I had to cross to get to the park. Whew. That's fucking awesome. Sorry for using the F word, but that's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Picture opportunity. Wow. That's certainly awesome. I think I'm alone now. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. I know I can't sing, but just deal with it. I get knocked down, but I get up again. <laughs> so we don't go that way. We go this way. It's hard hauling my fat butt up these. And we come to an intersection. So, World's End Trail, Loyal Sock Trail. And I think this way was the way gentlemen told me about the waterfalls. So, I don't know how long it is. Um, but we're gonna go this way. And the reason I say this way is because, again, the waterfalls. And again, the reason I don't go too much on trails that I don't know where they go, of course, you gotta figure it out sometime, um, is one time I took a trail at Mount Pisgah State Park. And uh, like I told you guys, I gave you guys a tour of Mount Pisgah. Um, I got lost on that one trail. I should have kept following the one trail. It was 1.7 more miles, but I took a trail that went down and holy crap. I was ended, I ended up in the middle of nowhere. I had no cell service. Uh, finally, after standing there for a minute with my arms way up in the air, I got, I caught a signal. And I was able to GPS walking distance back to my car. I was basically not on the other side of the mountain, but I was down in like a, a little valley area. But this is a nice path. I like this. Not too many rocks. No hunting in this area. Now, I get a lot of people who will ask me, do you go on these hikes alone? Doesn't it scare you? Um, it doesn't scare me. Uh, you do hear nature sounds. You hear trees blowing in the wind, rubbing together. You hear twigs breaking. You hear animals scampering through the leaves and through the bushes. Um, <clears throat> but I don't think they would make these trails if they were unsafe. You know what I mean? Um, you leave nature alone, they'll leave you alone. Uh, the only thing we have to worry about here in Pennsylvania, I think, are timber rattlers. Uh, again, I don't know what they look like, um, but I don't care to stray off my beaten path either. Um, but another force of nature over here. 
strong winds can blow a perfectly planted huge tree down. So in the event, I, uh, let me start that over. In the event I come across an animal that is coming at me, not that it'll do much good, but I always have my pocket knife. Um, I don't know, like I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm not saying that if I come across one, I wouldn't be freaked out, but like, I'd stand still, I'd watch it. If it started charging me, I mean, there's numerous sticks you can pick up. Uh, I have my knife. Um, again, this is where the bear spray would come in handy because I'm sure it not only um, works on just bears, I'm sure it works on other animals too. <laughs> there's so much action around here though, I really doubt there's any, any wildlife around here. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Any big, like, game wild, wildlife might be a deer or two. Well, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Stepped on a branch. So I'm wondering, do y'all think this is a sign to not go any farther? Or what? <laughs> I don't know. But we're going. We're here to explore. And that's what we're gonna do. Check out the greenery up in here though. Holy crap. My dudes, it is quiet up here. I'm gonna stop by this knockdown down huge tree up here. Just so you can stop and take a listen to nature. Plus, your boy gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Well, that's the point of this segment of the video. Um, I do like to have folks come with me just in case something like that. Uh, it could have been way worse. If I happen to fall and roll an ankle, uh, I got somebody here 
Not that there's cell phone service up here. Last time I looked, there's no cell service. Um, but there's some really cool rock layouts here. Like that right there. That one right there. And there's... Oh, right there. Um, anyway, back to case in point. I like to have somebody with me. That way, like, I'm not alone. If I am hurt, um, they may be able to be my crutch for the rest of the way back. Um, and it's just always good to have somebody in case of an emergency like that. Um, but there may other there may be other emergencies such as possibly an animal attack um i'm not worried about that here in pennsylvania i'm really not we don't have uh to my knowledge we don't have any uh oh i gotta go look at that we don't have any like animals that are gonna that are gonna kill us so just to show you guys something that i thought was just genuinely really cool was this I don't normally like to go off the beaten path because you never know what major sinkhole you'll fill it fall into but uh like I almost did um but look at these rocks Well, we have a couple signs. Use caution. This area open to hunting. Oop, not there, there. So, I mean, we're gonna continue walking, but still. Ain't got no service up here. Everybody's messaging me, probably worried as fuck about me. Oh, it's so nice up here, dudes. And I'm not alone anymore. There's people behind me. I don't feel so alone. Uh, the road's right down there anyway, if I really needed to get out quick. I'm glad I took that pee break when I did, though. my dudes I think we're coming up to another intersection I'm not totally sure but we're gonna find out Pioneer Road all right I'm guessing they use this road for like I don't know, like horse and buggy or something. I don't know. It's really nice. It's really freaking green, too. Where does it appear? Like we have come to a bridge cross or some rubble. Just the force of nature, I guess. Hear that? I hear water. Oh yeah. It's 
So this apparently is the end of the trail here, folks. So we are gonna walk the road until we find another one to walk down in, check out the waterfalls. I'm guessing down in here because right there is an entry for a path. So that should lead us right back to the car. All right, we're gonna cross the road, look both ways so we don't get run over. And we're gonna walk down this this trail. Um, but there's some more water over here that I do wanna show you. That I do wanna show you. I could be a freaking lyricist of a rock band. <laughs> Not really. Um, I'm a drummer, I don't write music. Well, I create beats. Not like DJ Khaled either. I'm a DJ, but I don't do that kind of crap. Yeah, make sure we don't fall on my butt. Hey, we made it safely down here. Here is the path across the road, folks. And if I'm correct, when I listened to that gentleman before, this side is the side that has all the waterfalls, if I'm correct. But I'm probably not. But I do hear water, so if we don't get to hear or see waterfalls, we at least get to see some water. I also wanna thank everybody who has subscribed if you haven't subscribed, why not? Are you not entertained? <laughs> um, I'm about to create an OnlyFans. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. I have more self-respect. Um, but I do have a Venmo you can donate to. It helps with traveling, um, car maintenance, maybe hotel rooms, just to support the channel. Um, Keep in mind, I'm not asking you for your money. This is totally, totally, totally a um, volunteer basis type thing. I'm going to go down in here and see what's going on. So, yeah. Uh, subscribe if you're not. Donate to the Venmo if you haven't. Or if you don't want to, that's cool too. But uh, let's go see some water from above. Well, I just took a spill. Because apparently I took something that I thought was a path that wasn't a path. Got a little dirty. But it was worth the fall. Because look. This is where I'm an amateur at this. So, you see the green things? That's a path. Stupid me. <laughs> Should've followed him. I'm a dumbass. So, Potentially, that's another reason why, well, that is the reason why I like to have somebody with me. Because that fall could have been much worse. Could have sprained an ankle, broke an ankle, could have broke a leg, could have broke my knee, could have broke an arm, could have broken anything. Um, yeah, it's, it's always good to bring somebody with you, but... 
I always let people know they can come with me. Nobody wants to come, so I don't like waiting around. And this is the kind of shit that I don't like. We potentially have some nasty humans in the mix. So, I want to unzip. I want to unzip. <laughs> New bag to me. There we go. Throw the garbage in my pack. Did my bag get dirty? Nope, bag didn't get dirty, but I sure as hell did. <laughs> oh. Here we go. A lot of wet spots here you could potentially fall and hurt yourself too but yeah um like i said this is where i'm an amateur hiker i should have known that these green tags on the trees were markings because they'll tell you if you're out in the woods and you're needing to get back to say like a campsite or whatever because you set traps and you're trying to survive or whatever um, mark your trees so you know your way back. But, silly me, I really should have known that. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. No wildlife yet, though. I'm kind of disappointed in that. The only wildlife I've seen is other humans. I'm a comedian. <laughs> oh, this is cool. All right, so the battery on my phone is about a little bit more than a quarter of the way uh, full. So I'm going to be recording very minimal because I don't want my phone to die out here just in case something awesome appears or happens or if we get to the big waterfalls that's if um, I really don't hear any rumbling so we may not so I just got passed by a trail runner um, it's pretty interesting but uh, Gonna go up and around, and my shoe decided to fall off. Some bitch. And this is why I want to save the battery. There's more trails up in there that you can follow, but we really only have just a couple more hours of daylight, and I don't know how much longer it's gonna take me to get back. So we're gonna keep on this beaten path. But that's after we get some pictures. There's so many flipping cool things here. Oh, I hope my phone doesn't die so I can get them for you.
wow. Just wow. So I guess this area is as good as any to actually get something to drink. You see I'm kind of sweating right there. Yeah, your boy is fat. But you really can't beat it. Good place to wash away your thoughts. Well, 10 minutes later, we are saying goodbye to our waterfall. Bye, waterfall. My friends, this has been, I'm so glad I decided to do this today. It is, excuse me, but fucking beautiful out here. Um, and the reason I say excuse me is because I think there are some kids that watch this channel and I really don't want them picking up filthy language from me. Um, right now my channel is set as not for kids. So... Um, maybe one day it will be set for kids. I don't have any kids. I like to possibly have an influence on other people's kids. I like to do for other people's kids. I like to buy for other people's kids. I like to spoil for other people's kids. My niece and nephew, I love them so, so much. Um, and every time I get in that depressive state, I think of them. get emotional thinking about it I uh I think of them and not being able to see them grow up I think of them and not being able to see my niece in her formal school dance dress or her prom dress or maybe one day her wedding dress um my nephew I think of him of graduating high school uh, playing sports in high school, being that popular quarterback. You better be a running back, boy, if you're going to play football. Uncle Travis was a running back. Um, but, you know, seeing him in a, his tuxedo, him in a, on his wedding day, just every time I get down, I think of those two cute, or be beautiful, adorable little faces. And it brings me out of it. it makes me happy again so thank god for kids man thank god leo aria i love you guys uncle travis you have no idea the amount of love that i have for you guys well we made it back into the uh no hunting area 
So I think we're getting um, back close to the uh, main area where we were. I think we're going to end up coming out on that one trail that I very first started the video with. I'm not sure, but I'm just taking a wild guesstimate. Going back to what I was saying before, there's people out on the rock, so I'm going to talk lower. Um, check on your happy friends. Check on your friends that may be having a bad time. Um, check on everybody because they may seem happy uh, all the time, but sometimes we're struggling with stuff inside that you have no idea. So, send a hi. How are you doing? How are you feeling? And, uh, just be kind. I'm not always the kindest, but boy, this medicine I'm on really, really helps. But check out this. Well, I think we're on a much calmer path now. Um, I actually think it's going to lead us away from the water which sucks but hey it's been a good day y'all it's been a really good day I am going to stop by someplace and grab me some grub so these trees they were marked with an LT for Lackawanna or Loyal Sock Trail. Then there's these trees with X's. I'm not exactly sure what the X means. Um, usually an X means uh, don't go that way, but I mean, it seemed more suitable to me to go this way. Because I don't listen to my other gut instinct, this is how your boy gets lost. <laughs> oh man, I make terrible decisions. So one more thing before I get to some scenic views here to end this video. Um, what I put in my pack today, water and a sweatshirt, just in case I was here long enough to where it cooled down and it is starting to cool down now, but I'm moving right along. Um, my, uh, my body is sweaty. I don't want to put another layer on. It is kind of chilly, so, um, I don't know where this trail brought us out at, so, we got to figure that out. <laughs> so, yes, there's just water and a sweatshirt in my bag today. If I planned on stopping someplace for eat, I would to eat, I would have brought my stove, um, I would have brought a bunch of other good stuff. But uh, we are about to hit the main road. I'm not sure which way to go. Um, I'm a little lost, but uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Double Run Nature Trail. Junction route with the Pioneer Road, three quarter mile. That's what I was on. And I think that's what people actually run on. But we gotta find our way back to the actual park so I can get my car and we can go get something to eat. So that trail I just come off of, I showed you the double run trail there. I started walking the opposite way I should have. A couple fishermen wung in there, popped their trunk full of beer, full of food. I love it. Um, but uh, I asked him, I said, I'm actually looking for the entrance to the park so I can get back to my car and head back home. And I said, oh yeah, the entrance, entrance to the park is way back that way. So that's where we're going. We're walking back to the entrance. Mm -hmm.
So, I'm tired, I'm hungry. But my, my cousin owns an ice cream shop here in Troy. So, I decided to stop and get my favorite, a hot fudge sundae, whipped cream, nuts, obviously a cherry. Um, I'm a little disappointed they don't put as much hot fudge in as, as they used to. But, uh, it's still amazing. Nonetheless, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me through this whole thing. Um, I know this one's going to be lengthy. I know the last one that's still uploading is lengthy. Um, but I appreciate you hanging out and uh, I'm going to enjoy my ice cream. Bon appetit.